So guys, right now, um, we're just letting the giraffe calm down. Um, once it's calm, HO is going to um, put a dart in it, um, which is a very strong drug. Um, so you can see him, he's trying to just let the animal calm down. Once he has a good shot, he'll then find a, a position. Um, and Okay, so obviously he just has to wait for the giraffe to get into a good position. Um, and then he'll take the shot once it's ready. And then the drug will take effect. And once it takes effect, and there goes darts in. Um, what we're waiting for is we're waiting for the drug to take effect. The giraffe will start getting a bit dizzy. It'll start losing its footing. Um, and once that drug starts taking an effect and it starts like limping, um, Julian and Romanzo are going to go into the boma um, and are going to rope its legs and sort of trip it up so it falls down. Um, and when in all the times that we've done this, the fall is actually very gentle. We just hold it, hold it. Okay, now let's hold it tight. Let's hold it tight. Okay, let it go. I'll come with you, Ramonzo. Okay, hold it. Yeah, just hold on. Just hold it, just hold it. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Not tight, not tight. Let's let it go. And we'll just walk with it. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. We're just getting a little work, Ramon. Wait. The giraffe okay. goes down. Cross. Then what happens Cross. is the, the giraffe will be laying down. Someone will jump on its neck. Cross and you. once somebody's on its neck, HO the vet will then give a reversal drug, which then reverses okay, all wait, the I've drugs. And the giraffe is actually fully awake when this um, the whole operation is happening. So its eye sockets are here. And this is the osicone where the, where the okay, unit is going to be put in it. Okay, hold the giraffe. They're taking off a... What? Yeah, pass up, pass up, pass up. Yeah. Okay, so they're just taking a DNA sample now. Um, so a little piece of the skin is um, cut out of the ear. And with that, they, they use that for genetics, um, sort of a broader study throughout Namibia and throughout Africa. Because somebody is sitting on the neck, they, you, 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 they can't get up. Then they're going to start the process of putting the uh, satellite GPS collar on it um, and then just checking the overall health of the giraffe. And here you can see the, the soft lips of the giraffe and the teeth. Um, and it's this really, really soft fur. So now the first guy is getting off the giraffe. There's one guy left on the neck. He's going to jump off and then get out of the way. And then the giraffe is going to stand up almost like a horse. Oh, there we go. Beautiful girl. In the boma situation, I use a much lower dose than I would use in, in the field. Yeah. Um, probably half or two thirds of what I would use on the same giraffe in the field. Okay. Um, it's because in the boma, it doesn't matter if it takes 10 minutes for it to take. It. Because it's not running away and we don't have to chase it. You have to keep in good terrain, so we try and get it down by three to five minutes. You know, Jan Ulofs has sort of started the high dose opioid giraffe capture, but I think Pete Morkel is a guy that probably put in. Of all the people I know, the most effort into really fine-tuning um, techniques on the ground, um, roping, handling, blindfolding, yeah. he's very innovative. Also, it's a Boma capture, that's a technique that's actually also been developed by Jan Olofsson, but specifically for giraffe with the higher curtains, the narrow passage, um, to create game they one of the most experienced game capture teams yeah. in Namibia, and they've really perfected that technique. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's a team a effort of, without the peer game bringing them into the Burma, no. we would have to do a one by one darting. In the so came in, did everything run smoothly? I mean, what are you guys feels? Awesome, it was really smoothly. They came through quickly, and the team uh, from Dupre Wells are just awesome. They just know what they're doing. Yep. They split the giraffe, they put three straight into the truck, and left one behind for us to put the unit on. Um, HO, Vetsu. 
frame, <laughs> awesome close shot in the bomber, and uh, yeah, and everything went really, really well. So this is how you hope that things work. Yeah, all went, all went smoothly, and and the fitting of the collar and that sort of thing that that yeah. all all worked. And yeah, I know the draft went obviously into the corner. We pulled her out a little bit. She yeah. went down. Yeah, I know. But putting it on was really quick and smooth, and uh, it's great having a little team of uh, folks around you who've done it once or twice before. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, as far as I could see, and then you know, HO helped us, we, we pulled her out and yep. uh, you know, she got straight up and straight into the truck. So we take as much information as possible as we can, you know, but in this situation we want to get it up quickly, but we've got tail samples to understand, you know, its diet, what it's been eating, and then in future if we bring it down again, we'll be able to test it again, yep. looking at isotopes, you know, some clever guys in labs doing that. Uh, the GPS satellite unit will help us monitor once we take it to uh, Damaraland for the next couple of years. But the Ossicone units are really interesting. So we trialled the first ever GPS satellite units on Giraffe in the early 2000s in Northwest. Yep. And over the years, we've done lots of R&D on it, worked with different companies, and we're down to this tiny unit now. And I think it's much better for the Giraffe. It's much better quality. Um, and we'll continue. If we can get something that's really tiny in future, that would be awesome. But, uh, you know, it's all about looking at the next technology that's going to help us better understand and, and save giraffe. That's yeah. the most important thing. So we put this tracking unit on. Yeah. So this is now one of, I think, 150 we have in eight African countries at the wow. moment. So it's an Africa-wide initiative. We call it Twigger Tracker. Yeah. Twigger is Swahili for giraffe. Um, and we follow all this giraffe, 150 giraffe, remotely. Um, we can sit in our office in Windhoek or we have a postdoc in America with the Smithsonian Institute. He can sit there and get all the data and we can learn so much more about giraffe. Yeah. We can learn how do they use their habitat, how do they move. Um, some of them, when we have a few um, collared in one population, do they get together? Um, and it just gives us a lot of information that is really important to save giraffe because there's so little known. We yeah. just don't know how much a giraffe moves, how big is their home range and all these questions. Um, and it really helps us to, to save giraffe in Africa. So this one that we just tagged is just one of a bigger program, a continent-wide effort um, that really helps us to save giraffe. So it's not something we do just for laugh and giggles. So it's, it's an important conservation measure. These all things are really interesting for people to do, but the follow-up is critical. Yeah. And I think that's where, you know, if we've chatted and Ultimate Safaris and Draft Conservation Foundation, we'll be in the field for the next couple of years yeah. as a minimum. But monitoring them, where they're going, we'll bring more giraffe and we'll keep monitoring them forevermore. I mean, that's what it's about. It's, uh, it's not a short-term thing. It's a long-term and uh, the success will, uh, I think, uh, be there and we'll be yeah. able to tell the world that uh, everything's going in the right direction. Today we had guys from the Ministry of Environment, Forestry and Tourism here who'd never done this ever before. Yeah. And we got them, they were the guys sitting on the neck of the giraffe. Yeah. And it's part of a training capacity building. That's what we're about. You know, in future, you know, don't need Giraffe Conservation Foundation if there's governments and other partners across the continent yeah. who can do this work. Exactly. So we're happy to be able to support this, um, you know, skills development. Yeah. And, you know, the guys on the neck, Bole and uh, Oiva, I mean, they were so excited yeah. and listen and, uh, you know, working together, we can do so much more.